Good morning, this is Lainey from Camp Joy Farms. I have another work day today, or at least I'm going to try. We have some thunderstorms possibly coming through about three o'clock. I'm 11.30, just getting started this morning, so I feel like I'm so far behind the eight ball already. And it actually had a little rain a while ago that I didn't even hear, I didn't know it happened, and that might interfere with one of my chores. I was gonna disc up my garden a little bit to incorporate some organic soil in. So I'm gonna have to walk out there and see if that rain was bad enough to where I really don't need to run the disc today. But I'll just have to figure that out. Uh, every time I come out to my shed to get started with our day, I have to fight uh, an overhead door <laughs> and it drives me crazy. And it just, sometimes it just sets me off and sets the tone for my morning, but I, I need to learn to just live with it. What happened was the side of our shed door was hit with the tractor a while back. I didn't do it, <laughs> but it bent it. So now nothing works right on the door on one side. So I have to fight it every time I come out here to open it up. But I wanna get my side by side out so that my husband can get on it and piddle around this morning and ride around the property. It's been, uh, yesterday was kind of yuck. I thought it was gonna be a little warmer than it was, but it stayed down in the 60s and it was kind of windy and uh, misted and stuff like that. So he didn't get to get out of the house really and do much. We ran a couple of errands, but that was about it. Today, it is sunshining now. It was overcast. It's fixing to be thunderstorming later. So it's sunshining right now. So I wanna back this thing out and um, go load him up and let him get a little sunshine. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna haul a little bit of my organic soil to my upper garden. I am going to put it just in the area where my carrots and my English peas and all are gonna be planted here shortly. I wanna just work in that part of the garden. The rest of my organic soil, I'm gonna let sit over there for a good while longer to keep cooking. I wish I could let this part sit, but I really need to get it incorporated. I need to get one side of this upper garden rowed up the back of my upper garden is gonna be where some corn is gonna be planted. So I think I might, because I'm not planting that corn until 1st of April or April 10th, something like that. I might take a tarp back there and just tarp that back part of my upper garden to kind of keep weed pressure down and everything. But the front part to the side is what I'm working on today, if I can get my tractor on it. I brought some of the black organic soil over there last night. I got about four loads done before it got dark. And I'd like to get a couple more loads brought over here today, but then I wanted to incorporate it and then put my hiller implement on and row it up. That part is what I'm not sure I can get done because it did rain a while ago. But we're gonna try, all you can do is try. I also wanna get my seed starting things organized today. My sister gave me some shelves. I was so appreciative of that. And she gave me some shelves from their shed when they cleaned out their shed. And I told her, oh yeah, I'll take them. I've got to find a spot for one of the shelves. I only have enough grow lights to use one of the shelves right now. But I think I'm gonna put it by a window in my bedroom, believe it or not. I, I, my house has lots of windows, but I only have one little spot in my bedroom where it gets a lot of light during the day. I am using the grow lights, but I'm not gonna, I don't have any heat mats right now. And I think if I keep my house uh, the, the right temperature, plus put the plants by that one window that does kind of get a lot of light during the day, that'll help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just see. I, I don't, I looked up the price of grow mats and it's kind of expensive. I think a lot of people might use them because they're doing these things down in their basements. We don't have basements here, but they're doing these things down in their basements or in their carports and things like that. But I'm gonna try to just do it in my bedroom and where I can monitor the temperature and keep it kind of, you know, under control and then put it by the window where it also gets some more warmth during the daytime and use those grow lights as many hours as, as I can on them. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how it goes. Right now, I'm, gonna, I'm not starting tomatoes or anything yet. I'm gonna start some green onion seeds, some bunching onions, and I'm gonna start some lettuce starts. So I'm just gonna try those first and just see if I get, you know, some kind of progress like that. Get myself a little more confidence. There's always time to order a, a germination mat if I need one. My local hardware store doesn't carry it, so I would have to order them online. And fellas, they're just not, they're not cheap. I didn't realize that, you know, a little bitty square one 
um, can be 30 bucks, but if you want one of the five foot ones or you want one that'll really hold four or five trays, you know, shoot, they were 130 and up plus shipping and tax and everything. I'm just not going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to wait. I'm sure there's things on Amazon out there. I don't really have an Amazon account right now. I kind of closed it out a while back and I don't want to get in the habit of um, spontaneously just jumping on Amazon and ordering everything. I want to try my best to get things from local businesses if I can. That's not always possible, but if, you know, if I can, just for my lettuces and my bunch of onions, I'm going to give it a shot without a grow mat. We're going to see how it goes. We're just going to see how it goes. Um, I hope the plants are hardy and I hope it works out. So let me mess with this door. You never get going until you at least get the shed door open to get the equipment out. So let me get this door open and we'll just see how it goes this morning. We'll see what all we can get done. I've got a list of about, I'm not kidding you, 25 things on my list. And if I can get five or six scratched off today, I will do a victory dance tonight because that will be just progress, progress, progress. So join me. This is Laney at Kemp Joy Farms. Here we go. beat me. Let me go inside and get him dressed and then I'll come back out and we'll get the chore started. I'm trying to decide whether I should bring the tractor on this. It's not extremely wet. Well, I'll never know unless I try it. I did bring that much of the organic soil yesterday. I've got to level it out a little bit, spread it out a little bit more. But I guess I'm going to go get a couple more loads. We'll just see how it goes. If nothing else, I could just dump it here at the end of the garden and I'll um, spread it later. Anyway, let's rock and roll with that. This is our rotary cutter implement, our bush hog. I'm actually selling it. I've got a guy coming tomorrow from Mobile, Alabama to pick it up and it's going to be sold. We bought it when we thought my husband was going to be doing a little separate side business uh, when he was worried about his job during COVID. But, you know, since his stroke and everything, there is no way he's going to be doing that business. So, I made a decision last week to go ahead and sell the rotary cutter and I did so it's kind of a sad close to what we thought was going to be a little business going but it's okay. second and see if it was quiet. It's as quiet as it's going to get right now. And Richard's coming on his four-wheeler, so I won't enjoy it, but just a second of this quiet. But I just wanted to stop my tractor and just look at the lake for just a second. 
thought it was going to be a rainy day, but it's sunny right now, so I'm trying to enjoy it right now. But, there he comes. <laughs> I don't mind him, it's just the noise of the four-wheeler. I was trying to get away from noise. But, let me go up here and get back to that black dirt and put it on my garden. Of course he noticed when he came up behind me that the PTO shaft, which is this thing right here, hanging down because I don't have an implement hooked on the back yet so I have to lower these so that I can lift it up and believe it or not they're lowering right now they are the slowest things I've ever seen in my life they're going down believe it or not slow 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 and in just a minute I'll be able to lift the PTO up and just set it on top of that bar if you watch the PTO, you can see that it's slowly going down, the, the connectors are. Slowly, slowly. Let me see. Now it needs about another inch. Where I could just, woo, I could get aggravated. You're rocking and rolling, you're doing your thing, and you're stopping to wait on these little things. Mike can get it now. There we go. I just put it on the mount, and I'll let it stick up. There's a little hook that hooks it up. Well, as you can probably hear, it started raining. It's raining really hard garden rake is fixing to be my best friend for about the next hour or so. I dumped a lot of the black organic soil into my upper garden. I'm really only wanting to get it say where these two rows would be. Of course I didn't uh, finish that second row because we just had a big shower. We had a big burst come through and I just pulled the tractor under the shed. But what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to rake these little piles that I've made. I didn't intentionally make piles. I do attempt to put my tractor in reverse and back the load up as I'm dumping, you know, and, and kind of spread it more than just piling it. But, you know, I do my best. <laughs> I'm not the most expert tractor operator there is. I do my best. I hit a bump or two. It messes me up and I end up with a lot more piles than I end up with spreads. So, uh, I think of that lawyer on my cousin Vinny, the one that stuttered, and when they asked him about it, he said, well, I'm getting better, and that's the way I feel. I'm getting better with my dirt work. I'm not perfect yet, but I'm trying. What I'm going to do is take the rake and spread all this and kind of make it even. I don't want to keep hauling because I don't want to haul more over here than I need. I'd like to keep as much as I can on that pile. I want to see how far this spreads and goes on these two rows and then I will um, keep hauling some more if it doesn't come a deluge. But that's my plan right now. Let me grab my rake. I finished raking. As you can see, it makes a big difference to rake it all out. I'm really only short just a couple of loads on this second side over here. And by the time I disc this all in, and then I get my hiller implement attached to my tractor, and I hill it up, I'll have three rows here. And that's what I'm looking for. But anyway, got this done today. It is thundering in the background. I can tell another storm's rolling in and it sounds pretty bad. So I'm gonna roll out of here because Laney doesn't do lightning. I don't want to be outside if it starts lightning. Clouds like this started rolling in, and then a big rainstorm came after that. 
I guess I'll have to work on my 25 chore list later this week. We'll film it then. Bye-bye.